Is that Chuck Nasty? Okay, I know we haven't pulled the headliner in a while, but we gotta pull him. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Cat back again with another pack opening, and today we're gonna try and pull the the wild buffalo. I think that's what Bobby called them, the wild boar, wild buffalo, whatever the case may be. We're gonna try and get Chuck Nasty, and uh, we'll, let's see what other stuff is new in MLB the show. So, without further ado. Let's get into the video. First things first, I got the Supreme hat today for good luck. So, and MLB The Show dropped a new schedule in the home menu. So we're going to take a look at it together. Headliner pack and new conquest map. Okay. Uh, prime time part two of the event starts on, if we were to add and do the math real quick, I believe that's Tuesday. And of course the headliner packs come out Tuesday as well. And it says featuring a signature legend for set 34. Ooh. Who knows? Who knows? Then, monthly awards for the entire month of July will drop on that Thursday next week. And, of course, the sixth inning program comes with three new bosses, which, without, I mean, some of us already know. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look over the new Conquest map here. And, uh, looks like it's going to be part of the fifth inning, so it's symbols. Okay, so if we take a look at the symbols, I'm actually going to take off my face cam real quick. You can see a triangle, circle, X, and square. That might be for PlayStation. That's pretty. That's a pretty cool map, in my opinion. You guys can see it right there. Uh, we start up in the very top, and then we just got to work our way down. Pretty cool map, in my opinion. Pretty cool map. And now, uh, we go on to the other thing that was new today, because if you guys remember looking at the schedule, uh, there's only one other thing, and that's the headliner. So, we're going to take a look at that headliner. You guys started earlier in the video. It is Chuck. Nasty. Let's actually take a look at the stats of this Chuck Nasty card. Let's take a look at it. 115, 116 contact against righties and lefties. 105 power, 84 power versus lefties. 83 vision, 79 discipline, 125 clutch. So he's going to come up in the big moments. Bunting, not really a big thing of his. 71 fielding and 65 arm. That's definitely going to be scary. And he's got very great speed. This is center fielder Charlie Blackman when he won Silver Slugger in 2017, 96 overall. If we get him, we're most definitely going to make a debut with, of course, Chuck Nasty. And we're also going to take a look at how much he's going for right now because um, that is something that we should probably check to see if it's really worth opening a bunch of packs for, you know? So let's see. He is a 96 overall center fielder. So let's see if we filter Ellsbury. There's Charlie Blackman right below. I'm going for about 56,000. So, I mean, the packs, if you buy all the packs, that's about, uh, what is it, 37,500. So it's not bad. And then, uh, of course, with the packs alone, it's not bad. So I think we should definitely risk it. And uh, we're going to buy all these packs. We're also going to buy a 20-pack bundle. And uh, let's hope for a diamond in this video because the last time we pulled a diamond was, I believe, Altuve. Uh, out of out of just standard packs and uh, let's uh, let's hope for something good. So let's get into the pack opening. All right, y'all. So uh, as you guys know, MLB has released a new schedule for the 2021 season. That's right, 2021 season. For the first time in what I think has been like what maybe five years, the Angels are finally going to be playing at home in my birthday for what seems like a long, long time. And I try to go make it a tradition whenever Angels play at home. I typically go to that game for my birthday. But uh, you know what? Hey, I'm pretty happy. And if hopefully with this whole virus stuff, uh, once it's all gone, hopefully soon, uh, we can uh, go back to our regular lives and just go to a baseball game. In other news, a lot more players have opted out. I just heard that Buster Posey opted out. And Michael Kopech also opted out. So that's actually pretty insane. I mean, the thing is, Buster Posey just had uh, just adopted uh, twins, so I'm very happy for him. And of course, what, he doesn't want to risk the health of of his new twin daughters. So obviously, it's it's in the best interest, and not only him, but his family, his wife, to not, of course, uh, play on the road and risk actually getting the disease. So it's better to be safe than sorry. And Michael Kopech, I heard, also opted out on playing this year. He said. That he just doesn't didn't feel ready, and then just with the added pressure of the virus, 60 games, 
Yeah, I wouldn't risk it either. But you know what? It's their guys' decisions. They they do what's not only in the best interest for themselves, but their, for their families or for their personal health, like Kopech. So it's completely understandable. But hey, baseball starts in just less than two weeks away. I'm very, very excited, of course. Uh, I don't think I'll be home for the New York versus uh, DC game, but I will be home for the Dodgers and San Fran game. So that's definitely going to be a good game. So far, we've only, I think we've only pulled a couple gold so far. So let's see. Come on. Come on. Nine standard packs remaining. Can we can we pull a diamond? I feel like it's been a long time since we pulled a diamond. But you know what? If we actually pull Chuck Nasty in the headliners, we're definitely making a debut. You can prom you can I can promise you guys that. that was that was a really weird way to continue that phrase. But there we go. Alright, six standard packs remaining. It's definitely getting interesting, and not for me, but, uh, you know, you know, you know I try to hope, because the, uh, opening packs isn't a skill. It's based on luck, and if you pull a diamond, it's all luck, and if you pull, and if you get nothing, you know what, you, that's, that's, uh, that's something that you play. You, you know, you pay the price to pay, play, and if you don't end up winning, well, a loser, you know. All right, two more standard packs. Come on. Come on, Ramon. I know you're watching me, man. Come on, Ramon. One more standard pack. Help me out here, Ramon. Help me out here. Please? <sighs> okay. That's cool. It's not like we're trying to pull a diamond or anything. Okay, here's a gold player pack. All right, let's see. Maybe we could get a diamond. Less than 4% chance. And it's a gold. Okay. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for the main event of the evening. We got five headliners, which is, of course, a one in... Well, I was trying to show the, the odds. Now it's a one in ten. Oh, yeah, it is a one in ten. I was thinking of a ball in as a habit pack where that's obviously one in 15. But it's a one in ten chance, of course, as you guys know, as I accidentally back out. But here we go. Back to the packs. Like I said, one in ten chance to pull a diamond player. Or just as 85 diamond, but I'm assuming player. And we have a chance to get Chuck Nasty, man. Those stats really, really do look nice. And the quirks alone are also nice. I just hope uh, we can actually pull him. Yeah, he's going for about 56,000. And we've spent 37,000 in these packs. So if we um, if we pull him, we definitely make our money's worth. So here we go. Let's get this first pack underway. Here we go. Come on. Bronze. 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 Come on. Hit me with at least a diamond, please. Here we go. And, okay, it's gold. Golds are never guaranteed, but I'll take a gold. Okay, that's cool. All right, four packs remaining. I'm just going to hope we get a diamond. I, I, it's been a while. I think the last headliner we got was Luis Patino. That's who I think the last headliner is. And we get nothing there, but we get a gold. So we got the common bronze, the silver, and the gold. But we did not get the diamond. Actually, speaking of headliners... I wonder who really was the last one I got, like, in an actual set, you know, X uh, uh, headliner, because I remember the first one I pulled was Jimmy Rollins, and I got Hayward, Patino, all those guys, but I really think Patino was the last guy I got, and that was set who knows how long ago. So we're going to open up this headliner. This is our third headliner, headliner pack. Come on, please. <sighs> okay, it's cool. It's cool. It's not like I'm, I'm. It's not like I'm gonna cry later after this pack opening. But here we go. Come on, please, please, Ramon. Two packs, man. One in ten. Okay. Last time I think we got Strasburg out of these, but I, I, it'd be nice if we got an actual diamond and another back-to-back -back silvers. Okay. It, it's not gonna pay the bills, but we have one more pack. So let's see. Let's just hope. Let's just hope that we can get a diamond here. And if you guys think we'll pull a diamond. Click the like button right now. That's right. You right there? There we go. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's get hype. Let's get hype. Come on. Come on. Let's believe. Let's believe. Okay, one pack remaining. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, common. Okay, Chancisco. I liked his uh, flashback card from, uh, I think, last year, his top style card. Matt Barnes, not a bad reliever. Okay, a bronze. Brian Goodwin, Angel. There we go. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Bronze. No, wait. Common. Bronze. Silver. Come on. Hit me with the diamond. Skip the gold and give me the diamond. And that's another silver. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's really upsetting how these 
pack openings have really, really, really been bad. Like, I thought I'd been playing... I thought I, I had such a hot streak in the beginning of the year, as you guys remember. Right now, Blackman's still going for about 56,000. Shots going for just under 200,000. And it really would have been nice if we got, um, you know, a diamond in somewhere in this pack opening. But you know what? Hey, sometimes that's the price you play. And uh, if you win, you win. And if you lose, you lose. If you guys enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys think we should buy Charlie Blackman. And, of course, subscribe to the channel. It is very much appreciated here. Uh, we're about to hit almost 5,600 subscribers. It really, really is a huge accomplishment for me. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, click that sub button down below. That's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Mm-hmm.